Hi, dear friends. How are you all doing? My Lesotho people, Le Pela Juang. Let me hope you all are doing great. Welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, God bless you. But if you're new here, hello. Welcome to my channel. Please, before you leave, remember to subscribe. And when you subscribe, click on that notification bell. You will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I promise you, you will always enjoy every content that I upload in this channel. So dear friends, as this video is going to be very spicy, hot, beautiful online dating success love story of a Basoto lady, 26 years old, by the name of Bopain, who found love on online dating apps after one year of searching. She found love with an American guy, a very loving, romantic man. His name is Ronald. So dear friends, we are going to be starting Bopain's love story with her past love relationship experience. Was she in a relationship with a Basotho man or Ronald is the first guy in her life? What was her past love relationship experience how did it go if she dated a black guy yesterday i received an email from someone who was asking me lots of questions and to be honest guys i didn't know the motive behind those questions one of the questions that that person was asking in that email was why is that most black women born and raised in Africa are searching for white men on online dating apps. What is the reason? So from Bopain's past love relationship experience, we will know why Bopain decided to join online dating apps and search for a white man. So dear friends, Bopain tells us, yes, she was in a love relationship before with a Basoto guy. Everything was super, super good between them. Actually, guys, they dated for five good years. He did not engage her, but they kept on dating. And because everything was fine between them, Bopain as a woman, you know, that woman's feeling felt like that guy is the one. He's going to marry her eventually. That's why she kept on dating him. So as they kept on dating, this Basoto guy found a job in South Africa. We know that Lesotho is so close to South Africa. They are neighbors. So he went to South Africa for work and they kept on with their relationship. So after this guy being in South Africa, kept on communicating with Bopain, he came with a request, told Bopain, I want to buy a car. I want you to send me some money so that I can top up and buy the car. But Bopain never had that money, told the guy that I don't have that money to give you to buy your car. This guy got angry but kept on insisting, asking for money from Bopain so that he can buy a car. She kept on telling him, I don't have the money. Then the guy started acting weird and one day Bopain woke up, found that the guy posted his new buy. We don't know if that woman was a new buy or that woman existed, you know, even before being posted. So Bopain was so, so disappointed, very frustrated from that guy, you know, giving a guy your five years and he just throw them away like that by posting another woman. So this guy was cheating on Bopain. Imagine if Bopain sent him money. That means he could have taken her money and dumped her just like that. So it was going to be pain over pain. But thank God she never sent him that money. So guys, after that bad relationship experience with that Basoto guy who was in South Africa, after cheating on her, got so disappointed and was like, no, I am not going to let another Basoto guy in my life then get cheated on. No, that's not going to happen. I better try out another race. That's when she decided to join online dating apps and search for a white guy. So guys, I know you who has listened to her past love relationship experience. Right now you're like, but Bella, all men cheat. <laughs> 
but we can see from her past love relationship experience it wasn't good at all the guy broke her heart after five years of dating so she wanted to try out something different and see what will happen some black women even decide to date white men out of curiosity you know to see what is gonna happen will i get the same same experience like i experienced dating a black guy or it's gonna be different so here i insist let's stop judging women who are searching for white men for marriage let us let them be and i am here just to guide them so that they can fall into the right hands of the white man so let's keep on with this beautiful online dating success love story so if you were wondering how did she come to know about online dating apps a colleague of her told her about online dating apps and that's when she decided to join tells us the dating apps that she joined were only two <laughs> One is Tinder, our famous Tinder, and the second is Taki99. I'm going to be writing it down there so that you can see it. To be honest, I never knew anything about Taki99. I just heard it from her. So she joined and started chatting with men from all over the world. So guys, now we know her past love relationship experience. Right now, I want to take you to Ronald's past love relationship experience because in this story, you will be hearing from both sides, from Popain and from Ronald. So guys, Ronald's past love relationship experience tells us was in a relationship for 10 years, dated for five years, and was married for five years to the same woman. So friends, in Ronald's past relationship or marriage, God blessed him to have two kids and tells us in 2019, his wife changed and started to be very, very emotionally abusive. And to add on that, he cheated on Ronald. So things were really, really bad and that led to the breakup of their marriage. They had to end it and filed for a divorce. So they divorced and agreed to just be co-parenting. So this is something like a coincidence. <laughs> we see Bopin's past love relationship experience, the guy cheated on her. And on Ronald's side, the same, the ex-wife cheated on him while they were still married. So these two decided to join online dating apps because of their past love relationship experience. So Ron tells us or Ronald tells us that after filing for a divorce, he stayed single for a while and then decided to join online dating apps. So after hearing both sides of what they went through in their past love relationship experience, let's return back to Bopain and find out how was her experience on Tinder and on Taki99. So guys, her online dating experience gave us both experience from Tinder and Taki99. I'm going to be starting with her experience on Taki99 dating app. So tells us on that dating app, there were good, good, good guys. When you look at them in their profiles, oh my God, they were cute, 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 cute guys <laughs> with beautiful bios, you know, everything good. But the problem came when she could start chatting with these guys. They could immediately jump into wanting her nude photos. They could start asking her weird stuff like erotic chats, nothing serious. She kept on searching and searching on Taki 99 and one day came this particular Turkish guy. He was really, really cute and seemed so, so nice. So after chatting with this Turkish guy for quite some time, the guy asked Bopain, do you work? <laughs> Bopain was like, yes, I work. Then he said, I want to invite you to Turkey, but if you agree to come, that means 
you are going to pay for your own trip the ticket the visa everything to come to turkey to meet me for that first time <laughs> and that same same period that is when Bopain came to know about my youtube channel and she even reminded me as she was telling me the story guys i had no idea you know that i deal with lots of women and i help everyone <laughs> Yeah, so she came on my premiere, that's what she told me, and asked me questions about dating a Turkish guy. I answered her, helped her around, also went and watched a video that I did about, about dating Turkish men. And from that video tells us it really opened her eyes wide. And that's when she decided to end that relationship with that Turkish guy and also delete Turkey 99. Another thing that she told me that at that same same time when she started following me, the video that really really inspired her, oh my god, I couldn't believe was the video of Peter and Thelma, a Nigerian lady who found love at the friend's wedding party in South Africa with a guy from Hungary, half Swedish, half Hungarian. Yeah, so after watching that story, she was really, really inspired. And I am so happy that she took some tips there and put them into action. You will know why I am saying this as we keep on with the story. So after deleting Taki 99 remained on Tinder. She searched and searched, tells us she could swipe and swipe and swipe and swipe until no match was there for her. She got so frustrated and in the end decided to also delete Tinder, be on her own, you know? <laughs> but something very, very good, very positive about Bopain, yes, deleted all dating apps, decided to take a break on online dating apps, but she kept on searching in real life she kept on looking you know on facebook on twitter on instagram you know searching for someone which is what i advised you when i shared with you that love story of peter and Thelma. i told you guys you can search on online dating apps but also back it up with offline search and i gave you some tips on how to search offline so she was like yes i'm done with dating apps for now i'm taking a break but i will keep on searching offline so guys after me telling you the challenges that bopain faced on online dating apps it's time to know on ronald's side did he face any challenges you know he's a white guy it's so easy for him to find the one <laughs> let's find out because that is what you guys always tell me be like how is that a guy can stay on online dating apps for five years without finding any woman how is even that possible guys it's very very possible and from ronald's story or ronald's experience you will learn something you'll see things into a different way concerning a guy staying so long on online dating apps because some of you have been ignoring these guys that have been on online dating apps for so long. When they write you a message, you're like, hmm, no, this must be a scammer. This must be a player. How is that? He has been there for four years, three years. That is the last time I see that he joined. <laughs> okay, guys, I don't want to talk a lot. Let us know. I also did uh, Facebook dating. And, um, and during that time, like I was trying to explain to you, a lot of these women would want to, they would want to chat for two weeks, three weeks, a month before you even see them in person. And I wasn't about to message people for a month straight to go on a date. That's I'm, a, I'm an outgoing person. So if you wanted to go to dinner, let's go to dinner, and so on and so forth. Or they would ask for money, like to help pay their bills in America, or get their nails done, get their hair done. This thing is, and then we wouldn't even give men a real opportunity. So, it kind of, and I tried meeting people in different places as well. Just local supermarkets, 
um, different things. So guys, you have heard him. Oh my God, this couple has good things in common. Because you can see, Bopain was on a break on online dating apps and decided to search offline. Same, same thing with Ron. Because he said that he could search and search and search. Same people, same circle, you know? <laughs> Every year. So in the end, what did Ron decide to do? Ron came up with a very brilliant idea that is going to shock every one of you <laughs> that is watching this love story. What was that brilliant idea? Let me tell you about it. So guys, his brilliant idea, Ron decided to post his photo, a very nice photo of himself in one of the social media platform. I'm going to be telling you that social media platform before I end this video. So when he posted that photo in the hashtags, he hashtagged interracial dating app. The reason why he did that is for everyone around the world that is searching for interracial dating app or is interested in interracial dating will see that photo yes and it worked guys because <laughs> bopin after deleting tinder and taki 99 was around social media followed all interracial couples channels followed all interracial couples account on Instagram, followed all interracial couples on Facebook. <laughs> everywhere, guys, everywhere she was there on that alert mode searching for the one. So as she was on that social media platform, that's when she came across Ron's photo. After seeing his photo, what she did, she gave that photo a like. I was like, oh my God, this guy is so cute. I have to like his photo. So after liking his photo, Ron immediately followed Bopain on that social media platform. <laughs> and when she saw that Ron followed her, I was like, what? This cute guy has followed me. I have to write to him that first message. I told you she's my baby, will never go wrong. <laughs> she was confident enough to approach Ron, send him that first message. It wasn't nothing, you know, special. She just sent a hi. After sending him a hi message, he responded immediately, guys. And they started chatting. They chatted for so long that day. And that same, same day, Ron requested for a video call. Because Ron tells us, gives you an advice that when you are on online dating apps searching, never be scared, you know, to see people on camera. Never be scared to meet those people. Because if you're seriously searching for the one, eventually you will meet those people. Eventually you will show up on the camera. <laughs> and he also wanted to see if Bopain was real. They talked on a video call. They were so happy to meet each other. And Bopin tells us, as they were talking for that first time, <laughs> Ron was looking into her eyes. You know, <laughs> I don't even know what to say, but the first time he called me, he was like, can I call you? And my you, I was still in my pajamas. And I said, yeah. And he was giving me that look. I don't know <laughs> how to explain it, but... And look, he was looking at me and the look that you couldn't even lie even if you wanted to lie about something while we were talking, but he seemed to be so sweet. He was so nice with me and, and he was so sweet to me. He seemed to be a sweet guy, a nice guy. Yeah. So guys, I want to talk about her sending him that first message on that social media platform. I've been telling you guys, don't wait to be found. If you are really searching for the one, oh my God, you have to put all efforts, you know? <laughs> don't look desperate. Of course, I'm against that. But 
put some effort like how Bopain did you imagine if she did not send that first message if she did not like his photo or just ignore him you know but at the same time saying I am searching you're searching and you're seeing a cute guy you don't want to do anything you expect to be found my dear sister you will search and search and search for so long so my advice here just make the first move there is no crime in doing that your sister is here assuring you that you are not doing anything wrong making the first move but i just insist on this attention make the first move in a good way we see she only said hi you know from that hi if he was going to answer it's okay if he was not going to answer it's okay because she never gave him a lot like you send a first message then you tell a guy everything about yourself of course if he does not respond you remain you know hard you remain like no why i told him this i told him this why did he ignore me no just send a simple message especially if you are on social media platform you know you test the waters right <laughs> okay guys let's continue when you are chatting with someone or when you get to know someone and you want to know if that person is real if that person is the one there is a tip for you let's hear it oh i don't know if you got that last part the chemistry has to be there and you know if it's love at first sight when you look truly in someone's eyes obviously you know if it's real or if it's not real you get men have a gut feeling and women have intuition in anything women always should listen to their intuition men should always listen to their gut because their gut is always right so if a man has a bad feeling in their gut that means it's wrong if a woman has a bad intuition about a man then that is wrong women's intuition is never wrong in a men's gut feeling is never wrong it is proven you had that guys so always listen to your intuition if you're chatting with a guy you are dating a guy your heart is telling you girl this might lead into tears better end it because your intuition will always be right so guys after talking that day on that social media platform they kept on with their relationship every single day they could talk they could make a video calls you know building their relationship and Ron tells us he is someone that believes in a relationship you should give your a hundred and he should give his a hundred it's a two-way thing not only one-sided which is very very correct so guys we now know that they met on that social media platform but i have a tip for you yes as much as you are searching for love offline you know not on online dating apps but maybe on social media platforms remember to be very very careful because people are not people <laughs> they are crazy people out there lots of scammers even one day there is a guy came into my dms and he was like he's looking for a wife you know <laughs> he seemed real and eventually i had to forward him to one of my closest closest friend that i know she was searching it's like two years ago has passed since that incident but i told my friend that be careful just observe the red flag let's see how it goes it didn't take even a day <laughs> we discovered that he was just a scammer so be very very careful observe the red flags this takes me to the question that you are going to be asking yourself they met on social media platform we know how things can be if you remember facebook indian guys how they can call you with the eggplants on hand <laughs> without even saying anything without even saying hi you open the camera and he is there with his eggplant so we know those things can happen around social media platforms to meet such a crazy person or a crazy guy so did ronald ask nude photos from bopain the answer is no did they talk about sex you know sex talks <laughs> the answer i am so so happy that ronald is such an open guy 
even Bob Payne is very, very open. They never wanted to hide anything, you know? Be like, no, we never talked about that or what? <laughs> Whereby they talked about it. So the answer is yes, they could talk about sex. Ronald tells you that sex is very, very important. You have to connect mentally and physically, you know? <laughs> At the same time, never ignore sex in your relationship because when you two are so much in love with each other just like Bopain and Ronald how they are so much in love with each other sex is like a bonus so they used to talk about sex spice up things but never did he ask for nude photos from her but of course after talking after knowing that he was a real guy a serious guy of course sometimes she could dress up in a very you know seducive way i give you tips guys <laughs> on how to look sexy without showing off your body to your online boyfriend, to your long distance boyfriend. That is why I'm telling you, this is my real baby. <laughs> my real baby will never do something stupid because I've gave you all the tips on how to go about things. When it comes to sex, I did a video. If you have not watched that, you can go and watch it. So they talked about sex such kind of a way another thing that ronald added he was like you know i'm a hot guy <laughs> so i made it clear to her that i am someone who is hot you know <laughs> so that she knows what she is going to get herself into <laughs> oh my god this reminds me something very very funny <laughs> From one of my clients, my subscriber, my sister, I'm not going to mention her name for her privacy. I know she's here watching. <laughs> so her boyfriend went to visit her in her country and they met, yes, when did the test, you know, the HIV test and everything. So they were staying together at that lady's house. <laughs> and oh my goodness, the guy was hot. <laughs> So she wrote to me, was like, Bella, you never warned me about this. I didn't know why guys can be this hot. My sister, I'm on fire. <laughs> but she was talking like that, not in a way that she was, you know, angry about it or disappointed. No, she was happy, but was telling me, you never warned me. These people are like this. <laughs> Her love story will be coming very very soon it's gonna be so hot too <laughs> so guys when it comes to folks that's how it was between Bopain and Ronald so guys let's go to something very very important that I have been insisting when you are chatting with a guy on online dating apps which is the introduction so I asked Bopain did you introduce Ronald to your family when you guys were still communicating before meeting she was like yes bella i introduced him but only by sending the photos so she sent him the photo of her sister she sent him the photo of her mom she sent him the photo of her colleagues which is so so beautiful you know when you do something like that a guy sees that oh my god she's putting more efforts to bring me into her world because her workplace is very very important you know she spends much time there and if you have some colleagues that are your friends at the same time and maybe if the guy comes it will be a wedding the friends will come it's good if you introduce him introducing him to a sister because a sister is very important also introduce him to the mother the most important <laughs> person for her you know so he was really really happy and appreciated that our own side tells us unfortunately doesn't have a dad his dad passed away when he was 18 may his soul keep resting in peace the photo there is of ron and his dad he has got a mother and the sister but they live in a very different state but they know about her then he introduced her to his best friend 
who goes by the name of Ashley. They have actually talked, you know, on the phone with Bopain, which is really, really good. I told you, if he can't, let's say, introduce you to the parents, maybe due to some reasons, at least some of his friends should know you. It's very, very important, guys. So, guys, the intro done. Now we go to <laughs> what most of us like. It's not the goodies. Not it, guys. <laughs> They're still communicating. <laughs> Just keep on waiting. Okay? So we got the most important part too that we all like as women <laughs> to be spoiled. <laughs> so did Ron spoil the pain while they were still communicating before meeting? The answer is no. Ronald never spoiled her like sent her gifts maybe flowers or money. He never did that. And one of the reasons that he tells us that made him not to send flowers, you know, gifts to her, it's because Popain, first of all, lives very, very far away from Mazaru, which is the capital city of Lesotho. He was like, she lives, you know, up, up there in the mountains. <laughs> I laughed a lot and I remember I did a video about Chicks and Leandro. I was telling you guys, you shouldn't worry. Even if you live up, up there in the mountains, even if you live, you know, deep, deep, deep in the village, <laughs> if the guy loves you, he will still love you and he will come for you <laughs> to where you live. This is a vivid example. He is from America, but fell in love with a lady from Lesotho who lives up up there in the mountains. So he was like, I couldn't do like how we do it here in America. Like you send her flowers at work, you know, being romantic and everything. But let's just stop here concerning the spoiling part because I will be back again at it. So guys, after chatting for one month, he was like, they chatted for 30 days, you know. <laughs> Everything that I've told you happened within 30 days. So after chatting for that period of time, it was time to meet, which is very, very important. I've been telling you, you guys have to meet so that your relationship can be real. And also Ronald thinks the same, same way as I think tells you you can't just you know stay on the phone chat and chat and chat hide behind the camera <laughs> without meeting so they talked on meeting and ronald suggested that he would be the one to go to lesotho to meet her for that first time when bopain heard about him coming to lesotho she was very very happy over the moon and the day for him to travel to Lesotho came, he went. At the airport, Bopain was there with her sister and her niece. He also brought him flowers. This is my real baby. <laughs> I asked her, how did the flowers idea come into your mind? She was like, Bella, for me, flowers are very, very special, you know, something so special. And second, it is what I could afford. I told you guys, if you can't afford like buying, you know, expensive things, there is no need actually. Buy something small, but he will appreciate. So she was there at the airport waiting for him. And, you know, he came out when they saw each other. They were really, really happy, hugged so tightly. Ronald tells you that, oh my God, the feeling was really, really good. It was amazing. You know, touching her, holding her, it was magical. Gave him his flowers and he appreciated a lot. Tells us there is no woman that has ever gifted him flowers. So that was really, really special. He appreciated very, very much. So friends, from the airport, they went to her sister's place. Took Ronald to her sister's 
place and that's where they had their dinner they stayed there for really long long time you know enjoying good times with family and among of the gifts he brought he also brought some gifts for her niece you know the daughter to Popain's sister so they stayed there till 11 p.m <laughs> at night that is when they went to the hotel <laughs> and guys you know what is next <laughs> i know you got that feeling of what is coming the goodies <laughs> did they enjoy the goodies for that first time the answer is yes actually it's ronald who responded to this question <laughs> It was like, yes, Bella, yes, yes, yes. We enjoyed the goodies so, so much. Like the emotions that we went through that night, enjoying the goodies, I can't even explain, you know, but it was amazing. And Bopain is such a good lady, an amazing lady, very, very good on all sectors. And when it comes to, you know, the goodies part, she's just amazing. <laughs> so you people who always want stories to be your way, I'm so, so sorry. If a story is this way, I'll have to put it this way. <laughs> yeah, because I know right now you're like, Bella, she shared the goodies. Why? <laughs> <laughs> she should have waited till marriage guys we can't be hypocrites every story that i share here i tell you she waited till marriage because not all ladies in the world that we are living right now can wait till marriage so we have to accept the story as it is <laughs> yeah so guys the first night went really really amazing <laughs> so they were in south africa now decided to go to lesotho where her whole family is go where her whole family is so they went visited family he couldn't meet the father something that he found like a culture shock is not seeing the father of the lady that you are dating it's their culture you can't see the father before marriage yes you're going to negotiate everything about the bride price which they did did not meet her father met her mother who is so so amazing guys i don't want to talk a lot about this i want you to hear from ronald himself talking about her family and black women in general you guys are going to be so so proud you know of yourselves you are going to be happy to be born as a black woman but guys attention guys i don't mean that other women from other races are bad no don't get me wrong i'm just trying to tell you what ronald talked about a black woman because he is dating a black woman let's hear from him but yes um they all love me they have accepted me um everyone has accepted me her aunt um, her nieces, they all love me because I'm just an outgoing person and I love with all my heart. I love with all my heart. I'm kind, I'm genuine, I'm sincere, I'm truthful. So, you know, this is the best thing that's ever come to me in my life besides my kids is Bokan. And I wow. knew in my life ever since I was a kid that I was going to marry a black queen. Black women are just all, I'm a, like I said, I don't lie, 99% black women are beautiful and intelligent and they're so strong as women very independent they're so strong and people don't see that um a lot of people don't see that or they take advantage of that but that's not who i am i i, I want her to grow to be a queen to be to build a kingdom together oh my god guys i think you have heard him it feels so good this guy is so so sweet Thank you so much, Ronald, for appreciating black women. Thank you for loving our sister, Bopain. <laughs> so guys, after visiting her family in Lesotho, they decided to go to Mazaru, which is the capital city of Lesotho. So in Mazaru, decided to go to KFC, have some dinner. It tells us it was like 9 p.m. at night, and that's when we have our Afro cinema. So they entered KFC, ate, and after eating, 
went to the parking area where the car was, entered in the car, and before they started moving from nowhere, came a group of guys, opened the car door, and started hitting both of them. They saw Ronald, thought he's a white guy, he must have money. So they forced them, give us money, give us money. There were people passing by who pain tried to shout, ask for help but those guys told her if you keep on shouting if you keep on talking you are dead. just shut up tells us they were lucky that day they didn't have lots of cash had only 400 runs which is approximately 22 23 us dollars so they gave them that money and even tried to take the car but they did not succeed after taking the money changed their mind and decided to go they vanished after that but bopain was very very embarrassed so so embarrassed because it was ron's first time in lesotho and then they get robbed another thing is bopain tells us it has never happened to her those as she was relaxed you know in her home city never thought those robbers could come so she was very very traumatized by that and asked ron for forgiveness but ron appreciated even her you know shouting asking for help was trying to protect ron so ron was like i was so so proud of bopain how she tried to fight those robbers she's such a strong lady that incident never made me you know think badly or maybe i'll not ever come back to africa no because i love africa i love african people and i am so much in love with bopain even if bopain told me some of his friends in america when they heard about that they were like we warned you man that south africa is not a safe country you know lesotho and south africa they are very very close <laughs> So the friends had warned him and when that happened they tried to tell him do you remember we told you you didn't listen but that didn't change anything at all towards the way ron felt for bopain so something else about that incident of robbery in mazaru ronald says he thanks god for them to be alive because if it wasn't for god they could have been dead by now. What does that tell us? It tells us that despite he is a good guy, a loving guy, a romantic guy, he has got God in him. He is God fearing. What else can you ask from God? <laughs> and from this, I told Bopain, you are very, very lucky that you have got a man who is a good man and loves you so, so much. It's a blessing because I know exist some guys who are very, very greedy. Actually, there is a friend of mine who found a guy online. They were so much in love with each other. The guy went to Tanzania to meet her. And when he arrived, you know, they entered in the taxi. The guy was telling that friend of mine as he took money from the wallet to pay the taxi driver that why are you looking into my money? Are you interested in my money? And when they went to the hotel, he put his money in the vault, which is okay, slept with the key, <laughs> kept on telling my friend, I hope you are not interested in my money, you know? <laughs> like the guy wasn't interested in knowing my friend, you know, talking other things. The topic was my money, my money, my money. So I tried to imagine if Bopain's boyfriend or Ron was like that guy, I'm telling you that incident was going to end their relationship. He could have told her that you planned all this. You know those robbers. <laughs> You sent them to me so that they can rob me. You are going to divide that money together, you know. <laughs> Some men can be very, very toxic and very, very negative on the way they think. But if you find a guy like that, just know that there is no love. Because when he starts blaming you for things you haven't done or when he doesn't trust you, we have a problem, girl. <laughs> so guys, after that incident, they returned to the hotel where they were staying and tried to forget that incident kept on with their life. 
kept on loving each other. It even brought them very, very closer. And Ronald tells us it's like they have known each other for so long. The chemistry that is there between them. So friends, Ron visited Bopain for the first time in Lesotho, December 2022. And after Ron visited Lesotho, that's the same time when Bopain wrote to me. She was like, Bella, I appreciate very, very much your advice, your help. If it wasn't for you, I don't know if I could have made it. And I pray that one day I share my love story with you. I was like, you are welcome and I'm very, very excited to hear your love story. So after talking to me past like two days, then Ronald wrote to me. If you remember, I did a story on my Instagram stories of this. You will see it here or here. That was Ronald's first message that he sent to me and promised to share their love story with us. And another thing that he accepted to share the love story, guys, just listen to him. <laughs> but she started the online dating. Um, she watched your stories. Like, she loves who you are, Bella. Thank you. She, <laughs> What harped on me and harped on me. She's like, write to Bella, write to Bella, write to Bella. And that's why I was trying to write to you because she loves who you are and she just wanted to show the world, you know, how important our relationship is to, you know, to us. But she wanted to share our story to everybody else as well that real love can be on the other side of the world. Your soulmate, your better half can be on the other side of the world. You that's never know true. where your soulmate is. Thank you so much, Bupain, for sharing your story with us. Thank you so much, Ron, for sharing your story. I love you too. <laughs> Just know that. So guys, in Lesotho, they really enjoyed good times together. And now I am going back. To the spoiling part <laughs> i told you guys that when he visited for the first time brought her a very nice phone and some other gifts but also before he left to go back to america left her with his debit card so that whenever she wants something can get it listen from ron concerning the spoiling part so she pays her own bills i do help because it's my responsibility as a man in our relationship to help with that. It's a 50-50. So even though she don't make a lot in Lesotho working for the government, I help her because I do well enough to do both. Um, so yes, I do send it as more but as a gift and a responsibility, not because she asks, it's because I do it. Because I can't send gifts any other way to Africa. I can't say I can say, hey, babe, go buy some perfume at the mall, but she'd have to travel all the way to Maseru or all the way to South Africa, you know, to, to places where there's malls at, because where she's at, there's no malls. So, yeah, um, that's a, that's a tough, tough question, because it's not like she asks. I send or I give because it's my job as a man. Wow. That's so, so good. You see, guys, he is the same, same guy that was saying that it's wrong for women to start asking for money or start being like, you have to pay my bills, you know, <laughs> take care of her responsibilities when you guys start communicating. Because if a guy truly loves you and everything goes well, of course, as a responsible man, he will surely take care of you. So let's learn from these guys. So guys, I think you have heard about that David card that he left with her. There's another reason, guys, to why he left her with his debit card, apart from being easy for her whenever she wants something, buys it. So, guys, Ron left, returned to America, and their plans is for Bopain to go to America, visit him, and later on get married. But as you know, guys, if you're in Africa, you know how hard it is 
to get the visa to go to America. There are some documents, some requirements. So it's a process, you know, doing one thing after another. And among of the things that they agreed they should start with is to be seeing each other every after three months. Ronald went to Lesotho in December 2022 and this year, April, Ronald was there. At the time, he was sharing a story with me <laughs> before I brought it here. He was still in Lesotho with her. And I remember when he promised this story, it was January, and he kept on telling me, Bella, I am trying my best, you know, to be back to Lesotho, to see my queen. So I'm really working so hard. I don't have time. But I want to share this story when Bopain is there. So when I go to Lesotho for the second time, that's when I will share the story. So concerning the debit card, I told you I'll tell you something more about it. Because I asked this couple, what is your next plan? Yes, you went again for the second time. Now what next? Ronald was like, they are still in their process. They are still in the process. I had to be able to get her visa to go to America. He said the first thing was to relocate Bopain to South Africa, get her an apartment, and then second, open for her a nail spa and a boutique so that she can be financially stable. You know, guys, when you go to the embassy, they ask you to ask for the visa. They are very, very interested to see how much you earn. And we all know our African salaries. They are very, very low. So this loving man is trying his best to make her financially stable, which is so good. And this couple, guys, is the true example or is the definition of we will be together no matter what. We are ready to fight any challenge that comes our way, but we will be together. And every woman, I think, wants a man like this, a man who will be by your side, a man who will tell you, don't worry, babe, we're gonna solve it. So some losers like that Turkish guy she was chatting with before knowing Ronald <laughs> was telling her to pay for her own ticket. Or you meet a guy online, you are working, your salary is very, very small. When you tell him that I went to the embassy, they can't grant me the visa because they see my bank statement is poor, doesn't have enough money, he runs away from you. That means that guy is not all that much in love with you. He is not all that interested. Because if a guy is really, really interested, will be with you no matter what challenge. And he will try his best to solve that challenge. Just like we see, guys, how Ronald took things into hands. He also added that that debit card that he left with her will be depositing money every single month so that she can combine when she opens the business, the money she'll be getting from the business and the money he sends, then put them together into her account to create a very strong bank statement but as we see guys it's not something that is done in a month or two months it takes time because Bopain is a very patient lady she is going to wait and go process after process until everything is ready so that they can be together before I forget, guys, about Ronald's visit, second visit in Lesotho, <laughs> Bopain tells us he bought her an iPhone and she loves it. She's over the moon, you know, with happiness. Everything is going so smoothly and she thanks God for that. So, guys, let's also listen to why Ronald fell in love with Bopain. Well, obviously, I fell in love with her. Um, with her beauty and the more I talked to her she seemed very intelligent and I mean she's just kind and sweet and innocent wow. and I mean everything about her she makes me laugh she does silly things 
we do silly things together. She's like my better half, yeah. and I'm her better half. I'm better with words than her. She's not good with words. I'm an extrovert, and she's an introvert. So it seem, may seem weird, but I break her out of her shell. I take her places where she's never been. She loves wow. it. <laughs> That's so sweet. <laughs> So dear friends, that was their beautiful online dating success love story. I hope you liked it. But don't click off yet because we have got some tips, some advice from Bopane and Ronald. Oh Bella, your channel helped me a lot. I used to be on your channel like every time, every day, every day, every day, watch what you do because you like, I met some techies guys. And I, I, I saw your 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 video telling how which kind of people are real and which are, and that helped me a lot. It wow. helped me a lot not to send naked pictures. Not please tell other ladies not to do so. Not to send notes. Not to send anything stupid over over the phone. Thank you. You heard her. <laughs> so to Ronald's advice to all men, to you all out there that are searching for love. I know lots of tips have been given before, but this is like a bonus. Okay, um, this I can answer very well. The advice I give to all men, it doesn't matter. Any man that wants to date a real woman and a woman that is actually looking for real love, Men need love just as much as women need love as well. Um, men may hide it more than women do, but as a man, we should not have to hide our love. Yes, we're supposed to be a king and be a protector, but we have emotions just like a woman does. True. So, um, for men, the advice I give them is when they are dating online, they need to ask questions that they're not scared to ask. Like, they need to break out of their shell and they need to be straightforward with the women. No beating around the bush. You need to be straightforward with any woman what your intentions are with them. You can't tell a woman what you're looking for. That's where dating comes in. I mean, obviously, everyone has intentions and everyone has goals and everyone has... How do I explain this? Let me, let me try to put this in the right way. Every person is looking for the right person in their life. So, some people are a chapter in your life, or some people are a season in someone's life. They only end there for a season or only there for a chapter. So, everyone is looking for their soulmate, their better half for the rest of their life so they can write a love story, a love book to share to the world. And you should never have to hide your love to anybody. And that was something I experienced too. You know, a lot of women didn't want to be in public with me or seen in public with me. He also talked about being free with your man, being free with your woman. There is one time I did a video and I was like, if you are dating someone and he is trying to hide you, keep you in the dark so that other people don't know that you guys are dating it's a red flag. So I'm so glad that Ronald talked about this too. So, so if a woman is trying to hide you and not go out in public with you, that means they don't really love everything about you, love who you are, who, who created you, God created you. And so obviously that person that loves you will show you off to the world. They want, I'm more of the person like, I want to show my queen off to the world. I want to show our experiences that we live together to try to show people, just like you and your husband or any other couple, they show the world that they travel or they try different restaurants or they do this together. They go, you know, date nights and stuff like that. And you show people because you have to keep your relationship always spicy or fresh. You know, you don't want to do the same things over and over again. You have to change it up. You're right, Ron. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> as 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 I was saying, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. So, every woman, every man that's on an online dating website, yes, there are certain things that people should look for. 
but they cannot hide behind a screen. That is not dating. The online dating is just to see their profile and hopefully that is true. And yes, you should see a, a, a video of them because there are a lot of scammers out there, a lot of catfishing, we call it in America, catfishing, where they put pictures of them that don't even look like them. Like, or they put pictures from 25 years ago when they're skinny and now they're overweight or where they don't put up-to-date profile pics. So I was, I was saying, look for that, but they cannot be scared to meet in public. They, they have to get to know each other, I understand through messages, but you have to get out because I'm good with words. And, um, <laughs> but anyways, but I mean, just any relationship, I mean, I mean, you know, Bella, you're, you're very good at what you do, you know, um, I'm a, I'm a very romantic person. And I, I think every man has romance in them. Maybe That's they didn't true. know how to use it or they didn't see it. But every man is taught to treat a woman right. You're supposed to treat a woman right. Oh, yes. To treat a queen with respect, with love, with just loyalty and, and companionship and to give them unconditional love all the time, every day to put a smile on their face. There's nothing more than waking up each day and knowing that your bae, your boo, your other half, your other half, your better half is happy. Because if your guys are not happy, communication is key. But you cannot be in a relationship, a toxic relationship, if you don't communicate. But you should know within a couple weeks if that person is for you in any relationship online dating. You cannot waste time and waste energy and your life away hoping that that person you're seeing is the right one. You should know already in your soul and in your heart that that person is the one. So dating someone, you can't hide behind a telephone and messages for months and wasting each other's lives if you don't get out and get to know each other. I told you, it shouldn't exceed three months before you guys decide when you are going to meet. And if you're chatting with a guy, you should try your best to find out if he is the one in the early stages. Because if you don't try to find out if the guy you're chatting to is the one, you are going to waste your time. And in the end, there is nothing good that will come out of that. To the big, big question, I know some of you have guessed already after listening to the story <laughs> of where they met. What is that social media platform that they met on? <laughs> Guys, they met on Instagram. Just like the way I have explained to you, he posted his photo, hashtag interracial dating apps. And that's when Bopin saw his photo, the rest is history. <laughs> so he tells us a bit about his culture show. So I told you number one is dating a girl without seeing the dad. So let's hear from him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, definitely the, the only culture shock I would say for Lusuto is... Um, Everyone walks everywhere and there's no transportation. Not only that, they wear, um, how they, how they dress is different as well. They, a lot of the, their culture is they wear blankets over their bodies. Oh my God. So, and the culture shock of, you know, not seeing the dad if you're dating a female. You can't see the father until you're ready to negotiate marriage. Okay, <laughs> I think uh, when he said the blankets, that means the traditional wear, you know, it looks like a blanket. For us, we have Maasai who wear like a cloth around uh, and sometimes they are heavy, just like a blanket. <laughs> yeah, for a white guy, it's something new, of course. <laughs> now I understand why it's a culture shock. <laughs> but now you have to get used to it. Because, <laughs> you know, you're taking our sister from Lesotho. 
So friends, we have come to an end of this beautiful online dating success love story. I hope you enjoyed it. You learned lots, lots of things. If you have liked it, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this love story and learn something. Watch my other videos too. They are super good. Don't forget to comment below what you think about this video. Please, please subscribe. If you have not subscribed, join the family. I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Let us meet in my next video. Ciao, ciao. Mwah.